What's up everybody, it's your boy and I'm here getting ready to do some painting. So I couldn't do this inside for obvious reasons. So hopefully I can edit this, it looks halfway decent. But what I wanted to show you, so I just, literally, I mean this is like so rigged. So I just literally just stacked some empty five gallon cans there. Helmets right there. I've already sanded it. I used a um, microfiber rag to kind of get all the extra dust off and everything. So I can't record this and paint it, so I'm just gonna show you after I'm done. Here we go. All right, so check it out. So this is the paint I'm using. It's in the links in the description, just so you know. It's actually pretty cheap on Amazon, I was kind of surprised. So this is kind of one coat. I was going real, real, real light. Real light. And on the top, just because I'm not doing lights through the top, I kind of went a little bit heavier. But you want to go real, real, real light on this anyway because this is your first coat. And if it runs, it's going to like crap and you're going to have to sand it really good. And, and that's not going to be good. So went real, 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 real light. This acrylic takes longer to dry than other paints, but that's what you want, I'm thinking. Um, acrylic's much harder, so if you're out and about, wherever you are there's a go there's do it like a festival and some moron like runs into you bumps you whatever it's gonna be harder to chip this even if you put clear coat on it now if you just use a a clear acrylic then you're gonna protect it anyway so here's one thing i already noticed and i'm gonna see if i can get it i'm a i'm a do, i'm a sand before i put some clear on but i wanted to show you this so you don't you can do this before i do it so if you notice if you can see there right there it's wet so I get to see that line so this is the top so that's factory from the um, when you get the cylinder tube so what I'm gonna do is I got some 220 sandpaper so it's a little bit more grittier um, than no 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 what do I got like 60 220 is what we're using on earlier I got something a little more gritty it's a little, little uh, more of aggressive grain with my hand after this dries it takes like 24 hours to dry so um, I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna go over this edge here see if I can hide that because I I don't want that crap I don't, I don't want that on there and then because it's white you're gonna be able to see a lot more of the uh, imperfections in the first buff job and so I'm gonna go around the eyes a little bit more I'm gonna go around the eyes I mean, it looks okay but it's not like first quality I mean like looking serious professional so I'm gonna t I'm gonna test that and uh, and I'll record my results. Um, and I know if I sand it too much down to back down to the acrylic, no big deal. I'll just make sure when I go to paint it. Um, and when I'm putting the before I put the clear on, I'm going to I might go ahead and test some lights on this thing. And what I'm probably going to do is just take the strip, which I actually just got. Man, I can't wait to show you this. I just got it, and for the first time, I figured out how to use the uh, <laughs> like the rainbow effect and all the different effects with this light fixture, light thing. And I got a battery pack, which I um, was unsure of. Shout out to the dude. I can't remember who it was. I can't remember your name, but um, shout out to the guy. He mentioned if you look at some of the other videos in the comment, and he did a, uh, a helmet and used a certain battery pack. But I'm using twice the lights, I think, than what he used. And so I just look for the next upgrade from a battery pack on that one. Hooked it up, got had to get some fitments for it and, and test it out. It looks pretty sweet. So I'm, when I get into the lights, I'll definitely do a video on that. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So, but I would suggest before you get to paint, you might use a little bit more aggressive on the sandpaper and make sure that line right there is not there and make sure it's real, real, real smooth around the edges where you cut. So. When you go to paint, you're not going to have to go back and do it again. So just try to save you guys some time. Till next time, peace out.